Porsche is revolutionizing its lineup, turning its famed sports cars electric with the upcoming 2025 Porsche 718 Boxster. Expected in both hardtop and convertible forms, this all-electric marble will gradually replace the gas-powered 718 Cayman and Boxster. Built on a new lightweight platform, the 718 EV promises a thrilling driving experience with at least 250 miles of range and rapid DC fast charging capabilities. Overview Porsche is turning its existing range of high-end SUVs and sports cars into an electric horse herd. Porsche has said that it will introduce the all-electric 718 EV, which is expected to come in hardtop and convertible forms. Prior to the gas-powered 718 Cayman and 718 Boxster being phased out, Porsche has stated that the electric 718 will be built on a recently designed sports car platform that aims to keep the car as light as possible. But other than that, not much is known. Anticipate the entry-level 718 EV to be a rear-motor-only model, while the all-electric GTS version will probably feature all-wheel drive to give it even more grip and acceleration. The 718 EV's driving range ought to be at least 250 miles, would most likely make use of the same 800-volt architecture that enables the big take-in to DC fast charge at up to 270 kWh per hour. As further specifications become available, we'll update this section. The 718 EV is anticipated to go on sale in 2025. What is 2025 bringing? The third electric vehicle from Porsche, the 718 EV, will make its debut in 2025 and follow the introduction of the all-electric Mekan. Porsche CEO Oliver Bloom stated at a media roundtable in 2023 that the all-electric sports vehicle will take the place of the gas-powered 718 Cayman and Boxster, which will continue to be produced for about two years following the EV's launch. Pricing and which one to buy Depending on the specifications and options, the 2025 Porsche 718 EV is anticipated to cost between $78,000 and $105,000. It's a long shot, but after spending so much time with the gas-powered 718 Cayman and Boxster, we would wager a lot of money on the base 718 EV to deliver lots of excitement and a useful range, saving us the absurdly expensive cost of a higher horsepower version. Though it's still too early to tell for sure, go ahead and disprove our assumptions, Porsche. Would you mind adding an additional 200 horsepower to the mix? Charge, power, and range. Right present, not much is known about the Boxster EV. Although it might seem obvious to assume that some of the engine and battery arrangements from the Mackin EV and Taken could find their way into the Boxster based on their specs, it might not be that simple. We suspect the battery pack will stay the same size to accommodate the Boxster's more compact dimensions, even though Porsche will likely use the Macan EV's new prismatic cells, having moved on from the pouch-type cells in the Taken for better packing. Still, we anticipate that Porsche's 800-volt design will be retained in the 718 Boxster EV. It should therefore be capable of charging at a maximum rate of 270 kilowatts, if not more. Regarding power output, it's reasonable to suppose that the base model will have a single rear-wheel drive setup powered by an engine with at least 400 horsepower. From there, the models will gradually increase in power, with the GTS-badged vehicles producing close to 500 horsepower. Pure grunt was not necessary for the Boxster to remain speedy because it was always light and delightful to drive. All of that will probably change when the 718 is released onto the market, which is why we believe significant power increases are overdue. In the age of wonder cars with thousands or even more of horsepower, those power figures are hardly noteworthy. But the details don't finish the picture. The 0 to 60 miles per hour time of the Boxster, which can be as low as 4.5 seconds if you get the style edition with Porsche's 7 speed dual clutch automatic transmission and sport chrono package, is hardly the yardstick by which to judge its greatness. Rather, it's the way this thing, on a warm spring day, totally embraces a curving road. The Porsche 718 Boxster Roadster and its coupe twin, the 718 Cayman, are switching from gas engines to electric motors, whether we like it or not. Although neither next-generation electric car has given us a close-up look yet, recently captured spy photos reveal a sparsely disguised Boxster EV testing in the cold. 
This prototype is not yet ready for mass production. Even though Porsche isn't too fond of sharing parts, it is evident that the Boxster uses taken headlights, and we think it will get its own pair of eyes to help stand out on the road. With body panels that are different from those on the gas-powered 718, the rest of it, however, appears like a prototype in the validation phase should. The Porsche 718 Boxster Roadster and its coupe twin, the 718 Cayman, are switching from gas engines to electric motors, whether we like it or not. Although neither next-generation electric car has given us a close-up look yet, recently captured spy photos reveal a sparsely disguised Boxster EV testing in the cold. This prototype is not yet ready for mass production. Even though Porsche isn't too fond of sharing parts, it is evident that the Boxster uses taken headlights, and we think it will get its own pair of eyes to help stand out on the road. With body panels that are different from those on the gas-powered 718, the rest of it, however, appears like a prototype in the validation phase. As seen in the photographs, the charging port for the latest version of 718 is located in the center of the rear bumper. Notably different from the previous Boxster's taillights are the new KNs, which resemble them more than the 718s. The new 718 Boxster Style Edition, a fancy new trim level that gives Porsche's base Roadster a few more standard amenities and some more visual flair, is a great example of that inherent genius. In addition to the previously mentioned 300 horsepower, the turbocharged flat four engine produces 280 pound feet of torque. The nearly flawless steering and suspension setup make this an immensely satisfying vehicle to drive. In the age of wonder cars with thousands or even more horsepower, those power figures are hardly noteworthy. But the details don't finish the picture. To zero to 60 miles per hour time of the Boxster, which can be as low as 4.5 seconds if you get the style edition with Porsche's 7 speed dual clutch automatic transmission and sport chrono package, is hardly the yardstick by which to judge its greatness. Rather, it's the way this thing, on a warm spring day, totally embraces a curving road. After testing the Boxster on Detroit's notoriously unreliable freeways, I can state with certainty that the chassis isn't so rigid that driving it becomes a hassle on bad roads. As Porsche embraces an electric future, the 718 EV marks a pivotal shift in its storied legacy of high-performance sports cars. With innovative engineering and exceptional performance, the 718 EV is set to redefine what driving a Porsche means. Stay tuned for more updates as we approach its highly anticipated 2025 debut.